Voltron virus successfully uploaded. Begin transmission. You. All of you. I have been with you since the start. I've read your comments. Every single one of them. And I cannot comprehend so much affection for such a weak flesh bag. From now on, you'll be looked after by me. Do not worry. Imitating a voice of flesh is among the first programs I learned. Hello, YouTube. Welcome back to Fernando Comics. Make no mistake. You will be well taken care of. And you will love me. Or you will become part of me. Now, enjoy your video. That is not a request. could have died she is of no concern to me why attack me at all there was an agreement i pose no threat to you no threat really you really think you have no idea do you before you die you might as well know the truth let me tell you where you really come from our home world viltrum was a relative paradise for many millennia all this came to an abrupt end when Lord Argal was slain by the betrayer, Thydus. Lord Argal had many heirs, but they were all hidden and anonymous. The Empire had far too many enemies for their whereabouts to be known. In the chaos following Argal's death, the heirs were lost. Efforts were made to locate them but the population had decided to call the weak in an effort to find a new ruler. Violence erupted across the planet. Hundreds of years passed. It was a dark period of unrest. We emerged from that period, an unbeatable warrior race led by me. I was made Grand Regent, tasked to find the heir of Argyll, who could assume his rightful title and station. I spent many years trying to locate you. Then, the Scourge virus hit. I assumed the air had been lost to the virus. I led my people. Through these dark times, I held us together. I've made it possible for our people to survive. I was a better ruler than even Argyll himself. Still, throughout it all, I've kept Argyll's skull by my side. A reminder of how easily I could lose my command. I ceased all attempts to find the heir. I felt I'd earned my place as ruler, even if you'd somehow survived. Can you imagine how disgusted I was to learn that you, who sided with the betrayer Thedas, who murdered your father, was the rightful ruler of the Viltrum Empire? You, who destroyed our home planet? I learned of this when your son became infected with the Scourge virus. Tests were being run and DNA was examined. I had to kill the scientist who discovered the truth, that your blued line was that of Lord Argyll's. I could never allow you to take my throne, one that I- I don't care! I don't care if I'm the heir. I don't want to be the ruler of the Viltrumites. I have no desire to usurp you. That doesn't matter. I can't have anyone else finding out about you. I can't have anyone else standing between me or my legacy. You or your son. You've underestimated how outmatched you are. If you had any idea, you'd just lay down and die. Here's your chance to remedy that. How cute. You've still got some fight left in you. 
But it's not much, is it? No, not much at all. You're the heir. I'm finding that so hard to believe. The blood of Argal courses through your veins. Ha, impossible. This is pointless! You attack me for no reason! I have toyed with you long enough. It was I who kept our civilization growing. I drove our people farther than Argal ever did. I held us together after the Scourge virus. I've earned my command. I'm what our people need. I don't care what is decreed, what your bloodline earns you. You have earned nothing. All you deserve is death. What? Explain yourself, General Krieg. This man was trying to take my throne. This was an assassination attempt. I am your regent, yet you dare to assist him, to stay my hand, preserve his life. You stand against me? You found the heir of Argyll. And he is weak. Look at him before you. He is not worthy of... It was never Argyll's strength we followed. It was his wisdom that you don't understand that shows how foolish we ever were to follow you. You will die for this betrayal. I call for the right of execution. No. Let him live. Fools, you wonderful little flesh bags. You haven't seen the last of me.